hello everyone welcome back as in last video I showed you how you can attach a list part to a cart page so and after attaching I told you in next video I will show you how to calculate schedule in time based on schedule start time and duration so this is my teacher list page when I click on this edit here in the general section I have a teacher information and in this sub form I have a teacher class schedule information so here I have two fields first is schedule start time then duration so based on these two fields I want to calculate the schedule in time so here in my case I want to schedule a live class for business central on Monday 26 at 9 a.m. And the duration of the class will be two hours so when I move to schedule end time here this is not calculated automatically so in my case I want to do the calculation automatically so whenever user enters schedule start time and duration so based on these two values schedule end time will be automatically populated here so what I will do in this video I will write code in on validate trigger of duration and based on these two values i will calculate schedule in time so to do this let's move to visual studio code here this is my teacher class sub form here i have schedule start time duration and the schedule end time so let's write a trigger for duration so trigger is on validate so whenever i am validating the value of duration means input some values in duration field this trigger will be executed so here my record dot schedule end time is equal to record dot schedule start time plus here I want to do a little trick so first I will write record dot duration so I am just adding the duration with the start time but one thing is here I want to tell you when I will do this this will do nothing if I only write this code statement what will happen this code will set schedule end time value is equal to schedule start time because whenever we are adding something to time field what actually happened it will consider as a millisecond so if I add one millisecond or two millisecond to 9 a.m. so it will not show you anything because whenever we are entering time it's not showing us the millisecond it's only showing us our minutes and seconds that's why so here in this case we must have to add the millisecond value to the schedule start time uh, for calculating the schedule end time so as we know in one hour there is 3600,000 millisecond so if we add this value to our time so it will add one hour to the schedule start time so if you make it two we have to add 7200,000 millisecond so we can do this by copying this value and just to multiply with the duration so here in my case if I write 1 then 1 into 3600,000 plus start time this will add 1 hour to the schedule end time if you enter 2 in duration so 2 into 3600,000 becomes 7200,000 this will add 2 hours to schedule start time and if in our case it start time is 9 am then schedule end time become 11 am so here we are done with the duration and this code let's publish our app extension to see the changes 
so I am stop my debugger and press F5 to publish this extension so my app is published successfully so look for teacher list click on edit enter a date here time here 10 a.m. duration is one hour so the schedule end time is calculated automatically becomes 11 a.m. so if I add 2.5 hour in duration so schedule end time for business central will become 11 30 a.m. yeah so this is working this is how you can calculate your scheduled end time or any other end time based on start time and the duration so here only one thing you must have to follow you must have to multiply your duration with 3600,000 000 because whenever you want to do the calculation for the end time you must have to add millisecond value to your start time to calculate the schedule end time this is pretty simple i hope you understand in upcoming videos i will show you how you can add more validation to this page like if i am deleting this then the schedule time should be updated based on that or when i, are, I am deleting this the schedule time is working fine so only on the duration everything working perfect but whenever i am doing changes to schedule start time this is not affecting and here as you can see something happened because schedule in start time don't have any value and i just deleted the duration so based on that it is actually want to calculate the schedule end time but this system is goes into unresponding mode so be with me i will show you more validations in later video sessions that's it for this video thank you for watching